We are going to be finding the key components to the equation x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 1. The first thing we're looking for are the zeros, so we're going to set the top x squared minus 4 equal to 0, because then you're, if you set it equal to 0, you're going to get 0 divided by x squared minus 1, and 0 divided by anything is going to be 0, so, so that'll get us our zeros. And the bottom, if we set the bottom equal to zero, we're just going to get undefined, which we don't want. We just want the zeros, so just the top. Uh, we're going to get x equals plus two and x equals minus two for the zeros. The second thing we're looking for are the critical points, and critical critical points are the points where the derivative are zero or undefined, so we're going to set the top of the derivative equal to zero and that'll be one of our critical points and we're going to set the bottom equal to zero that'll be our other critical point and depending on what you get there may be more than two critical points I guess so here's my equation that's my derivative that's I, I derived it right there and that's the actual derivative right there the end product of my deriving so if I set the top equal to zero, I got six x equals zero. So zero divided by six x equals zero. So one critical point is x equals zero. Um, set the bottom equal to zero. We're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna take x squared minus one, quanti the quantity squared, equals zero. So we're gonna square root the the whole quantity and square root the zero to cancel out that exponent so we're just gonna have x squared minus one equals zero then we're gonna square root that or we're gonna add the one to both sides to get rid of the one on the left we're gonna have x squared equals one square root of x we're gonna square root the x squared and the zero to get x equals plus minus square root of one which is just plus or minus one. So at the critical critical points are going to be x equals plus one, x equals minus one, and x equals zero. Okay, let's, the next thing we're going to solve for, or find, I guess, are the relative extremum. We're going to plug in the critical points to the original equation and compare the outcomes. The smallest one is going to be the minimum extremum and the big one's going to be the max. So I got negative one squared minus four over negative one squared minus one is two and a half. And then zero squared minus four over zero squared minus one, four. And one squared minus four over one squared minus one, 2.5 again. So relative max is going to be at the point zero four, so uh, so that's our relative max. And relative min is going to be hold up. Okay, sorry about that. I just I confused myself big time. Okay, the relative max is going to be at the point zero comma four. Relative the two relative minimum are going to be at the points negative one comma two and a half and one comma two and a half okay next we're going to find the increasing and decreasing intervals and to do that we're just gonna set up a sign line which is just a number line where you mark the critical points on it and then we're gonna test points that are in between the intervals of each uh, critical point. So like we're gonna test points in between negative infinity and negative one and in between negative one and zero, zero, one, one infinity. So these are my uh working these out. I did I think I did a lot of them in my head or whatever, but either way, uh negative infinity to negative one is well, if you get a negative number, it's going to be decreasing, and if you get a positive number, it's increasing. So, I got a negative number for basically negative infinity to zero. 
so those both are decreasing and once we pass zero they start increasing again because they're positive numbers and that's the correct way to write it I guess Uh, the next thing we're looking for are inflection points, which are where the derivative of the derivative, or the second derivative, I guess, uh, equals zero or don't exist. So, like, undefined. So, we're going to derive our derivative and set the top equal to zero and the bottom equal to zero and solve for those. So my second derivative is going to be negative 18 x squared minus 6 where is that? oh it's on the back yeah negative 18 x squared minus 6 over x squared minus 1 cubed and oh man when we set the top equal to 0 we're gonna get negative 0 0.3 repeating and when we set the bottom, bottom equals 0, we're going to get x equals plus 1, x equals minus 1. After that, the last thing we're going to have to find is concave up and concave down. And to find them is pretty similar to uh, increasing and decreasing. We're just going to make a sign line um, and put in our input our inflection points. And we're going to test points around those inflection points. Um, with the second derivative instead of the first one this time and it's going to be similar like I said if it's negative it's going to be concave down if it's positive it's going to be concave up so for negative infinity to negative 1 I plugged in negative 2 and I got negative 2.8 so it's concave down and in between negative 1 and positive 1 uh, I input 0 and I got 6 so concave up and for 1 to positive infinity, I got negative 2.8 again, so concave down. And now we'll go on to the next problem.